All right, so imagine this. You and a friend are walking through a forest when you come up to a great raging river. And on the other side of the river, you see some treasure. Now you really want that treasure. So you and your friend walk across the shore of the river until you each get a good vantage point where you can look at the treasure. So from where you stand, you see the treasure at angle alpha. And your friend sees the treasure at angle beta. And you know the distance between you and your friend to be X. Now, you want to cut down a tree to make a bridge that's just the right distance from the baseline vertically in a 90 degree angle to your treasure. Now, how are you going to figure out the distance D? Or, in mathematical terms, given two angles and a baseline, can you find out the altitude of a triangle, any arbitrary triangle? Well, the answer is actually yes, and we actually call this triangulation. It is commonly used in science and mathematics. And today we're going to figure out how to get this distance using trigonometry. So first of all, we need to know some trigonometry basics. So first of all, this is what I like to call Sokotoa or the mathematical battle cry. So Sokotoa is actually a mnemonic that helps you memorize sine, cosine, and tangent, which are the staples of trigonometry. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is OA, which is opposite over adjacent. See, S-O-H, so, C-A-H, ka, T-O-A, so katoa. And so, knowing these uh, definitions, we are going to figure out how to find the distance D. So first of all, let's just give an example of sine. For example, sine alpha, which is this angle here, will be opposite over hypotenuse, which would be D over the hypotenuse, which is this unknown length here, right? So now that we know that, let's get on to the math part. Um, yes. So let's draw another diagram for our benefit. So here is our triangle. Here is our distance which we shall call D. And here we have angle alpha. And here we have angle beta. Right? And we are actually going to split this X, which is this entire baseline, into two parts. X1 and X2. So X1 is going to be from here to here. And X2 is going to be from here to here. And you'll see why we do that in a moment. So first of all, let's see what equations we can get from this? Well, first of all, we can automatically kind of like a gut sense figure out we should probably use tangent because we have one angle here and we have two um, sides here that we have a variable for. So let's list out some equations. Tangent alpha, as we remember, tangent is TOA, so it's opposite over adjacent is equal to opposite, which in this case is D, over adjacent, which in this case is X1. And we also know that tangent beta is equal to D, which is also the opposite, over X2. Now, these two equations are pretty similar, and we can um, flip the equations around by multiplying x1 and dividing tan alpha to get x1 is equal to d over tan alpha, and x2 is equal to d over tan beta. 
Now, why is this useful? Well, as we can see here, x1 plus x2 is x. And since we don't know what x1 is or x2 is, but we know what x is, it's important that we change these two unknown variables to a known variable. So by combining these two equations, we get x1 plus x2, which is also equal to x, right? Is equal to d over 10, oops, d over 10 alpha plus d over 10 beta. Or we can also say that as x is equal to d over 10 alpha. Oh boy, 10 alpha plus d over 10 beta. So now that we have this equation, we can actually manipulate it a bit to figure out um, d in terms of x, 10 alpha, and 10 beta. So if we start with this over here, x is equal to d over plus d over, I'm sorry, I'm getting lazy, 10 alpha plus 10 beta, right? And if we multiply by 10 alpha on both sides, so we get times 10 alpha, times 10 alpha, and times 10 alpha, but since these two cancel out, we get 10 alpha times x is equal to d plus d times 10 alpha over 10 beta. Make sure you see how we get that. Now, if we multiply by 10 beta this time to get rid of the fraction, 10 beta, we have to multiply this part by 10 beta, and then we have to multiply this by 10 beta. 10 beta. So let's see, so we get 10 beta times 10 alpha times x is equal to um, d times 10 alpha, I mean d times 10 beta, sorry, 10 beta plus d times 10 alpha. Right? because these two cancel out. So we can actually use the distributive property here to get 10 beta times 10 alpha times x. x is equal to d times 10 beta plus 10 alpha. Uh, make sure you see why that works. And if we divide by 10 beta times 10 alpha on both sides here, and I'm too lazy right now to change the colors, but you know what I mean. Beta plus 10 alpha. We get our final equation, which is 10 beta times 10 alpha times x over 10 beta plus 10 alpha is equal to our distance d. And there you go. So using uh, the information that we have, which is two angles and a baseline, we can actually figure out the altitude of a triangle using trigonometry. And some of you might wonder, when I look online, there's another formula, which is um, x times sine alpha 
times sine beta over sine alpha plus beta. And you might think, wait, so which formula is correct? Well, the correct answer is they are both correct. And this is actually the same as this. And make sure you see why. So I'm actually going to leave that to you to figure out why this equation and this equation is equal. But for the meantime, have fun doing trigonometry, triangulation, and treasure hunting. Don't forget to like and subscribe.